2,000 years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. The book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins might be blotted out. So Oliver. The goal is for us to, to repent and be converted, right? My question to you is, what converts us? Is it religion? Is it, like you said, was it the water baptism? What converts us? You're right about that. I'm like, you're right about that. But I'm talking to you because remember, to, to example, if you want to change, help your brothers and sisters, you must first change yourself. You know, you can't go out and try to teach your brothers or try to help out when you yourself are in the midst of sin. So now, all of you, you have to repent and be converted. This is what converts you. Give me back to Psalms 19. Book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. See that? Be a perfect guy. The law of the Lord is perfect. The laws of God. There's nothing wrong with the laws of God. For example, I'm even some law. Now, my bad, watch this. The law of the Lord is perfect, you don't. Converting the soul. Because why? When you read the Bible and you read that Christ is a black man, you're we here for that, right? We showed you that Christ is a black man. Do you know that? Okay, so we read before the Christ is a black man. So when you when you read the laws of God and you realize Christ is a black man, that doesn't convert you. I'm not sure how that's important. Because first and foremost, if I may not see the image of Christ in you, you would think I'm going to dare to sell a bag of crap to you knowing that you're made in the image of Christ? You think I'm going to sell a bag of weed to you knowing that you are the image of Christ? You think I'm going to do that? No. Now, if I see my sister the image of Christ, you think I'm going to dare to sleep with her, get her pregnant, and leave the house knowing that she's also made in the image of God in Christ? So that's why, that alone right here, this is why this is revolutionary. Knowing that Christ is a black man is more than just knowing it. That in, it changed your whole process of thinking. Read on. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. It makes the wise. Chapter 28, verse 15. Now, this is Moses speaking to who? The children of Israel, right? Watch this. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to, to, to observe, to do all its commandments and its statutes. So remember, the word what it means it shall come to pass the friends for prophecy, right? So Moses gave a prophecy to the children of Israel. Look, if you don't keep the commandments and laws that I gave you this day, what, what will happen to them? Which I gave thee, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now all of it, is a curse a good or a bad thing? Obviously bad, right? And it comes for what? Punishment. Punish me. So God said, look, if you don't, if you as, as my people, as my children, if you don't keep God's commandments in the future, all these curses will fall upon you as a nation. Now, these curses are the identifying factors of how we know who the children of Israel are. Now, let me read some curses, and based on history, let's see who, who this relates to. Give me verse 32. Watch verse 32. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Now let's start first in ancient times. During the times of colonization, right, of the island of Dominican Republic, the island of, of Hispaniola. Read that part again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. We're not our family separated. We're not our sons and daughters given to another people. They're not happening in slavery. They're not the so-called blacks during the, 60, the 1900s, 1600s, 1600s. We're not their family separated to an ocean state box. That happened. But now, what, I'm not sure how it relates to today. Read the top again. Thy sons 
and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. What is you? You know you were about DACA. What Trump is trying to take away? You know you were about DACA, the Dream Act, the Dreamers. So I'm gonna give you some background about that. The Dream Act, the DACA, it allows young undocumented children, right, that come that were raised in this country but are not citizens, gives them the opportunity to get jobs, opportunity to go to school. You know what I'm saying? They basically they, they they have all these opportunities, but they're not legal citizens, right? Now Trump is trying to take that away, right? He said, look, I don't care about you. You know what? You guys you guys came here illegally, so you gotta go back to your country. What do you think is gonna happen if ICE Immigration knocks on that door, boom, 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 boom. and let's say the father might be a U. Let's say the children might be a U.S. citizen, and the father an immigrant. What's gonna happen to that family? And then, what? River top. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. And that happening today with ICE immigration? It's not, let's say, a father or mother illegal immigrants, but their children are American born. Are not they being separated? Their parents go back to Mexico while the children stays here. What? With foster care. And that happened today? Think about it. Now, with, uh, uh, what was the thing called with uh, the, the people come to your house and check? Um, now, nah, what's that? I lost my point. Freedom. Yeah, what's that? What's that? With ACS, right? When ACS comes to the house and see and sees your, 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 your payments, oh man, you have three children, but your pay stuff only, according to our books, only supports for two children. Let me take away one child until you get a, a higher rate. That happens. Don't worry about that, right? Read for the top again. Thy sons. And thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So, I, does not that relate to our people today? It's not that happened to the so-called blacks and Hispanics to, even to this day. We don't. And then eyes shall look and fail with longing for them. Because in back then, where our families got got separated on slave blocks, all we could do is what cry. When today, when ICE comes, immigration comes and separates your families, all you can do is cry. Cause why? All day long, and there shall be no might. In thine hand, the fruit of that. Because once our family gets separated, do we have as a people, as Black and Hispanics, do we have any economic might, any military might to get our children back from ICE, from from our uh, foster cares? Are we? Do we have any power to get, get our children back? So all we can do is watch just cry. You understand? Read verse forty-eight. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse forty-eight. Therefore. That shalt thou serve thine enemy. Remember, this is the curse that God was to give the children of Israel, right? Read on. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. So God will send enemies to the children of Israel, and do have to serve those enemies, it says, in hunger. Now, Oliver, let me ask you a question. As a 34 year old man, you're older than me, right? Uh, where do you get your food? When you get paid or you get your paycheck, you don't buy some food for the house. You have, any, you have a family? Okay. You don't buy food for your family. Where do you go buy your groceries from? Who owns the supermarkets? Who runs those mar the supermarkets? Is it our people? Okay, Walmart. Let's talk about Walmart. Who runs Walmart? Not our people, right? So we have to serve our enemies in hunger, right, brother? Watch this. In thirst. My brother, here, if you're, as men, if your father or yourself don't doesn't pay that monthly water bill, what happens? You can even brush your teeth. And in nakedness. Nakedness. Nike, Adidas. Louis Vuitton, where does all these brands come from? Is it from us? Yeah. Everything looking at back your t-shirts is made in China, made in Thailand, made in Uwanda, but never from your own people. If you want to make your own clothing brand, all the cotton, the linen comes from where? China. Somewhere else besides your own people, read on. And in one of all things. You, you, went, to, you went to college? You went to school? You, you have financial aid in college? Who gave you that stamp for financial aid? Was it, is it run by your people? By your enemies. You understand, brother? You want something as simple as a driving license. Where do you go to? The DMV. Who runs the DMV? Is it your people? It's your enemies. For anything we want, any basic necessities, Oliver, we will have to serve our enemies. Stand back, stand back in slavery times. If you wanted food, who supported you with food? Your slave master. You wanted religion. Who, who gave you religion and slavery? Your slave master, right? You don't? And he shall put a yoke of iron. Upon thy neck. Your part again and what? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Who had yokes of iron on their necks in history, Oliver? Slaves, right? For example, I'm going to show you the Bible. It's a true book. And it's your book. Didn't that happen? Read that part again. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Didn't that the so-called blacks that happened to them? Think about us now. The so-called 
Arawaks, Oriquas, Mayas, Incas. Do we not have yokes and iron on our necks? That happened to us. Look at that. That is Bible prophecy right there. God said that thousand through Moses, thousand of years before it even happened. Watch this. Until he have destroyed you. So we don't have no yokes of iron for so long that we wouldn't need them no more. Like think about today. We don't have no physical yokes. What are the what are the spiritual yokes today? Master, I'm, I'm gonna show you. You own a, you, you have a credit card, debit card? Yeah. If you don't pay if you don't pay that think about it, if you don't pay that monthly credit card bill, what happens? Rates go up, your your credit your credit uh, score goes up down, you don't pay your student loans, your credit goes down, you have a car, insurance, you don't pay it, boom, rates go up. Those are the yokes we're bound to, those payments. Think about it, it is to the same common denominator. So those same enemies that put us in slavery. You understand? Keep reading. 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. So now the God was gonna send a nation against the Israelites from far. Who con who conquered uh, the Latin Espanola? Who conquered the Dominicans? And what nationality was it? Spain. European, right? So watch this. From the end of the earth. It's not Europe, Italy, Spain, it's not that from the other side of the earth, from where we were. We were on the Western Hemisphere. Spain is from the Eastern Hemisphere. Read on. As swift as the eagle fly. What emblem did Columbus use? What emblem was the, did, the Sp did the Spanish use to conquer us? Watch this. Jesus Christ. I'm going to show you. Hold, hold, hold the part again. As swift as the, as the eagle fly. It says as swift as the eagle fly. Let's look at history. By the time of Greece, what was the emblem on their coins? Eagle. Back in Rome, what emblem was on theirs? Eagle. Back to Spain, what's on their corner? Eagle. Back to America today, what's on your good old corner? On your good old dollar bill? Eagle. Because when you look at the natural characteristics of an eagle, it preys on smaller rodents, like on mice and whatnot. The same thing with these nations. They came to our islands, Española, Haiti. Santo Domingo, Puerto Rico, they saw their military power was not, nothing compared to what we had. They had rifles, they had armor, what do they have? Arrows, the same. They straight devoured our lands. They, what do you think they come, what do they come peace for me? Conquerors. They came to this earth, not to send peace, they came to conquer us. That, that's Bible prophecy, that's, that's your history, our history in this book that has been hidden from us. A nation whose tongue Thou shalt not understand. Because do you think when they came in to the island of Española, you think we, we saw Spanish with them? No, we spoke Hebrew. We have, we have historical books that we have right now, but we have books that show that the people from your island, your forefathers, the Arawaks from the Dominican Republic, they spoke Hebrew. Why do you think Brazilians speak Portuguese? Why? Because the Portuguese conquered them. Why do you think the Haitians speak a form of French? Do you see that? So you know that your history is in the Bible, right? But now, so you see you know that, so... Chapter 32, verse 28. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob. Seven verse above, 27. Genesis chapter 32, verse 27. He said unto him, What is thy name? So I first asked you, Oliver, what's your nationality, right? This is an angel talking to our forefather Jacob. What is thy name? What's your nationality? Read on. And he said, Jacob. He said, Jacob. My name, I'm Dominican. I, I don't know. I'm Dominican. I'll read on. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob. So Oliver, you're no more a Dominican. What I'm trying to really show you through the curses that you will, that you are a children of Israel from the tribe of Simeon. Read on. But Israel. But what? But Israel. You are an Israelite, which means what? For as a prince hast thou power with God right. and with men. And has and has prevailed. Meanwhile, you have a true meaning behind your name. You're a prince of the power. You have to that's what your name. That's what your name means. That's what you have to. Because of Dominican, you're still showing the enemy that you're still under his enslavement, mental enslavement. When you say I'm an Israelite, damn, I'm a prince of the power. That now that is gonna cause change. And you said revolution. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show a true revolution. Give me first Second Corinthians six seventeen. I'm gonna show you a true revolution in the Bible. You guys know about it. Hold that first. Give me second Corinthians. Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. For the weapons of our we a warfare are not. Don't verse 9. verse 9. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 9. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3. 
For though we walk in the flesh, so, right. we walk in the okay. flesh, right? We don't. We do not war after the flesh. We don't war after the flesh. Meaning, why you explain yourself? Watch this. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. So, as repentant Israelites, which now that's your next step to repent to change, our weapons are not carnal. We part again. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. So we're not gonna do what our forefathers did, or what the nation wants to do to go out and fight, right? Like the Black Panthers did. We're not gonna do all that. We're gonna go out there and, pro and protest. We're not gonna do all that. We don't. But mighty. But there, our our revolution, our fight this time is mighty. We don't. To God. To God. To the, to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, right. and every high thing. That accepted itself against the knowledge of God. Because think about it. Why do you think they crucified Christ? Why, what was the punishment against Christ? It was treason, right? Because Christ's teachings are about revolution. I'm going to show you an example. St. Corinthians 6, 17. For example, how, what's holidays coming on Tuesday? What holiday? Halloween, right? Are you, you know how much money America produces on this holiday? $8.4 billion. $8.4 billion. Now, I have that $8.4 billion. How much out of it do you think comes from black and Latinos? A good amount, right? A good amount. Watch this. Second Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate. This is the revolution that we're trying to show you. Read the part again. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate. So we're trying to show all you blacks and Hispanics, you Israelites, to come out from this society. Because Oliver, think about this. If we want to talk about revolution, right, but we're still celebrating white supremacist holidays like Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, are we in true re revolution? No, because think about it. If out of those $8.4 billion, if all the Israelites, right, we got, yes, think about it. I'm going to show you the law. Watch this. And what makes us perfect? The laws of God, right? Watch, give me Leviticus 11, verse 7. Do you eat pork? Do you eat pork? Watch this. What does the white man care about? What is the most precious thing to this to this country called America? What is the greatest thing to this country? The good old what? Money, money, right? That good old dollar bill. I'm gonna show you true revolution of the Bible. Watch this. Leviticus 11 verse 7. Watch this. Leviticus chapter 11 verse 7. Remember all this. What makes us perfect? The law of God, right? Remember the reason we went to slavery was for breaking what? Yeah, yeah. 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 Like I said, you're going to have to do a general revolution. This is what I mean, a general aspect Bro, of the situation. That's exactly what God's commanded We're going to have to all remove ourselves and go into the wilderness and start all over. You're talking right now, right? Yeah. Watch this. Like start, I know none of y'all ready to go into the wilderness. No toilet paper, no nothing. You have to be doing... Watch this. I, I'm, I'm going to say, watch it's, this. It's difficult. I mean, I, I, I would love to do it. Watch this. Romans, we go all get together and just chapter all 12, over. verse 2. You know and be not conformed to this world. But you said something about... Separate yourself from society, right? That's exactly what God wants you to do. Because watch it, watch it. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And be not conformed to this world. So we cannot be satisfied with this world. But th that, a simple question. Does this world promote marriage or boyfriend and girlfriend? On the uh, general, general, general. Now, everything's a hot mess. Exactly. So you as a, now that you realize you're an Israelite, you know what's the true method to to make a biblical and righteous revolution? Now you must trans you can't be conformed with this world. Well, damn, every, every almost everything that my family makes might be pork. Damn, yo, I'm after yo mom. Like I, I appreciate you cooking, but look, if you make pork, you make sure I'm not gonna eat at the house. I'm sorry, I'm not coming over your house if you make this dinner. You have to, can't be conformed because you know the effects it has on you personally and on your people. We you don't. Know? But be ye transformed. Remember, re repentance means what? Change. A synonym of what? Revolution. To 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 change your, your mind of thinking. Read the part again. But be ye transformed. Oliver, be repentant. Change your way of thought. We you don't. Know? By the renewing of your mind. You see that? You must be willing to be re retaught. 
everything that we all been taught in the world of death, I grew up personally celebrating Halloween. I grew up celebrating Christmas, but now the promise of God has shown me that that's wrong and the effects it has on my people. Because as long as you stay in sin, we cannot as a people get delivered yet. See, because God is waking up, waiting for that 144,000 men. Give me that Psalm 9416. God is waiting for that few elect of his people because only one third of his people are going to live. Not everybody that you see out here is going to be saved with Christ returns. God is looking for a special number, 144,000 men willing to change their thought, their way of living, to make a revolution. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. It's a question God has for you all. The same question God has for all you men. All you men that think you're men just because, what, you're age of 40. Oliver, it's a question for you. Watch this. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? So who, Oliver, are you willing to stand up for the evildoers of this society? Read on. Or who will stand up against the workers of iniquity? And Oliver, are you willing to stand up against the workers of iniquity? Are you willing to do that? Are you willing to be on this side now with a beer grown, not eating shrimp, lobster, keeping the seven telling your brothers and sisters, sisters, stop wearing pants, put a dress on. Men, stop treating your women like hoes. Marry them. Are you willing to do that? Because that's what a, a true revolutionary will do. Look at, look at all the revolutionaries of uh, no, Fred Hampton, so Nat well. Turner, Luis Crion in Puerto Rico. All these men break bold against society, tell them to separate from the cousins of this society. So yes, you're right when you say you gotta change, but you got you can't be scared of change. You understand, Oliver? Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates from all our YouTube channels. Shalom.